Peace. What's happening, good people? There's GIF here for Pay Us No Mind, and let's talk about the digital distributor IndyFi. Now, IndyFi is a digital distributor that is kind of on the expensive side. So you look at it and you say, okay, well, what are they doing to justify the price? So it's like IndyFi, they have two tiers. One tier is free. They're not charging you anything. They're not taking a percentage of your, of your revenue. They're not charging you per release. They're not charging you an annual fee. It's free. Then the other side is IndyFi Pro, where they're charging you $100 a year for un unlimited distribution, which is more than uh, Lander, DistroKid, uh, a, a lot of distributors. They're charging you way more. And when I look at the offer for IndyFi, they're not giving you anything that nobody else doesn't give you, you know? And there's, you know, a reason why they don't make sense beyond just the pricing. And that is the fact that if you look at the free tier, with the free tier, they give artists access to pretty much the stores that they will want their music into. So it's like on a free tier, you get access to, uh, you get your music distributed to Spotify, Deezer, YouTube, uh, Apple Music, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Amazon, Tidal. I mean, where else do you want your music? Most artists, you know, I mean, any artist that needs the international audience or something like that, those are artists that are more established, where their fan base has just grown to a larger extent, you know? And any artist that like is a small artist and they're just like, hey, I live in Japan or something like that, so this is where my market is. Yo, they will be better off using another service for <laughs> $100 a year, you know? I mean, that is a bit costly. And when you look at it and you say, okay, well, what do they do to justify the cost? There is nothing that they do. They're not offering any kind of like specialty service or, you know, uh, any kind of better stats than what these other platforms offer. You know, they're not offering any kind of like promotional assistance. You know, they're not offering any kind of uh, funding or anything like that. You know, it's just give us a hundred dollars rather than giving these guys your money. And it's like, why? Uh, because we say so, <laughs> you know, it just is not something that makes any sense to me. And also when I think about distributors, not just Indy five, but a lot of these new distributors, again, you also have to consider the fact that how are they going to stick around? So it's like, this is like moving into a house, or renting an apartment from somebody that can't afford to pay their mortgage. You know, you move into a house of somebody that can't afford to pay their mortgage. If they get evicted, what you think is going to happen to you? <laughs> You're getting evicted too, you know? So it's like these distributors go down and then they issue Hey, we got to take these songs out of the stores. You know, you're going to have to go and find a new digital distributor. Or they switch up and they say, hey, man, we're not getting enough from my tenants to cover our mortgage. We're going to have to charge you more for rent. And you're like, well, I moved in here because I could only afford to pay X. And now these guys is jacking the rent up. Now I got to find someplace else to go. And it's the same type of situation. So it's like those are the things that you got to be aware of when you look at these distributors and they're like free. You know, and then they have some second tier that doesn't make any sense. So it's like with a, a, a distributor like Indify, it's free to get your music into the stores that you would want your music into. So why would anybody upgrade to pro? What are the reasons for that? You know, the only reason really is content ID. So they can make that argument, hey, you get content ID. But, yo, uh, most artists don't even really make money like that from content ID. So it's more so eyes being bigger than your stomach and believing something's there that's not, you know. Now, again, man, you know, it's not something that makes sense to me. But if you guys want me to take a deeper look at it and analyze it and break break it down and everything like that, you can uh, like this video, 
uh, any video that I do about a new distributor that I'm kind of on the edge with, you know, if it gets 100 likes, I'll do a, a full breakdown of it, you know, or if people just send me some donations or whatever, right? And I see, okay, well, people really want this because, you know, they're considering them or whatever have you. I'll do a breakdown of them. I add it to the guide, the digital distribution ebook, all of that good stuff, man. So those are uh, actions you can take if you really want to see a breakdown of IndieFi. Uh, as always, y'all can hit me up at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. Make sure you comment like subscribe y'all know the drill this is gift signing off pay us no mind peace good people one